guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Archituber. I am Architect Web V and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So in this video, we are going to be discussing about the color theory. It is a very important topic for NATA preparation. So without wasting more time, let's start with the video. So now in this PPT, we are going to be discussing about color theory. Okay, so let us start with color theory and let's understand color wheel or color cycle. Okay, as you can see this color wheel or color cycle, you can call it whatever you want. It is an abstract illustrative organization of color. Okay, and color use around a circle which has primary, secondary and tertiary colors. Okay, then complementary colors, analogous colors, neutral colors, monochromatic colors, warm and cool colors, RGB colors and CMYK colors. We are going to be discussing all of them in this video itself. So please stay tuned till the very end. Basically, a color is a perceptual characteristics of light described by color name. A color can be described in three ways. Okay, by its name, how much pure or desaturated the color is and its value or the lightness. There are few terms that are basic terms for the color theory. So let us understand them. Chroma. How pure a hue is in relation to gray. Then comes the saturation, the degree of purity of hue, then intensity, the brightness or dullness of a hue, then luminance, a measure of the amount of light reflected from a hue, shade, a hue produced by the addition of black, and a tint, a hue produced by the addition of the white. Okay, so I'll uh, make you understand about them in simplified versions. So please stay tuned. Now discussing about the color scheme, color scheme is the choice of colors used in design for the range of media. Color schemes are used to create the style and appeal and it uses two colors that look appealing together. Talking about the color wheel, did you know that Sir Isaac Newton invented this color diagram in 1666? Scientists and artists have studied and designed numerous variations of this concept as I mentioned in slide 1. In reality, any color circle or color wheel which presents a logically arranged sequence of pure hues has merits. Okay. So now discussing about the color wheel, you can see there are different color schemes over here. Uh, we have the pinks, the purples, blues, greens, yellows maroon uh, then brown blacks and grays okay so let us discuss in detail so basically there are three color schemes main three color schemes okay primary colors secondary colors and tertiary colors so starting with the primary colors so as i mentioned there are three categories of colors so talking about the first and the most basic one which is primary colors there are three pigments uh, in this primary colors and these three colors can be mixed and form any color combinations okay so it has basic red yellow and blue and all others are derived from these three hues these colors are called the most basic colors and all other colors can be created using mixing them okay now discussing about uh, secondary colors so secondary colors has as you can see on the screen green orange and purple now discussing about the secondary color which are formed by mixing primary colors right like red and blue red and yellow like that so these colors are versatile and are often used to add depth and contrast to artworks and to convey specific emotions okay for example purple is often associated with luxury spirituality and creativity Okay, you might have seen the packaging of any rich chocolate or any luxurious box, it always in the color of purple. Consider example your dairy milk, the silk, it represents, uh, you know, the luxury of chocolate. So it is one of the example. Then these colors are versatile and are often used to add depth and contrast. Like you can see the green uh, everywhere in nature, it adds so much of contrast with the sky right now discussing about the tertiary colors tertiary colors are formed by mixing primary and secondary colors so primary colors are red blue and yellow and secondary colors are what green orange and purple so now 
टर्शरी कलर्स आर फॉर्म बाय व्हाट प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी कलर्स लाइक ब्लू एंड ग्रीन देन रेड एंड पर्पल एंड येलो एंड ऑरेंज राइट so the tertiary color can be produced when mixing primary blue color and secondary green color and it is known as blue green okay you can also remember these color names like teal amber violet magenta vermilion and chartreuse okay so now let us discuss about the color triangle it is very simple as you can see this triangle at the corner of this triangle we have our primary colors right and in the center we have our secondary colors on the sides we have on the corners we have primary colors secondary colors we have on the sides of the triangle and then if you combine uh, each of the color you will get the tertiary color like red and violet you are getting red and violet then you are getting um first and secondary color you are getting red and orange likewise okay so the tertiary color being created and equal combination of two colors on left and right surrounding an open segment okay there are five basic harmonies of colors so let us discuss them one by one so we have direct harmony okay so let's discuss about direct harmony it is the basic harmony and it is opposite to the key color on the wheel okay opposite color referred to as complementary harmony then talking about the split harmony it takes two colors directly on either sides of complementary colors then triadic colors also known as triads it refers to the color of two spaces either side of key colors complement complementary color using three colors equally distance on the wheel then talking about your analogous harmony these colors directly are on the left and right side of your key color and it is also comes as monotone color okay then talking about tetraedic uh, colors it is similar to the triadic colors but here we have four equally distance colors on the color wheel okay so then we have the color psychology as you all know color psychology plays a very important role in anything anything that you design anything you look at right so let us discuss that in detail color psychology is the study of colors as a factor in human behavior this includes very diverse studies right so let us discuss now as you can see the color red let's see what it depicts the red color has been shown to increase the blood pressure the adrenal glands while red colors prove to be used for ambition and vitality it has been shown to associated with anger also then comes our orange color this color relieves the feelings of self pity lack of self worth and unwillingness to forgive then comes our yellow color this color is happy and uplifting color it can be associated with intellectual thinking also uh, please make notes of all of this uh, slides okay it is going to be very important for you uh, in your nata aptitude exam so please make sure you are not skipping on to the video and please try to share with the aspiring students as well now coming on to our green color green color creates the feeling of comfort laziness relaxation and calmness right so the blue color makes us feel rush of the day these colors can be helpful in eliminating insomnia then we have purple color this color has been used to care of mental or nervous disorders because they have shown to help in the balancing of mind and transform obsession and fears now comes our brown tone this, this color brings the feelings of stability and security then comes the black color it is passive and can prevent us from growing and changing okay now comes the white it is the color of ultimate purity this color brings feelings of peace and comfort while dispels shock and despair then comes our gray and the last color of the color psychology it is the color of independence and self reliance it can be the color of evasion and non commitment okay so talking about now tint shade and tone 
Now let's discuss. A tint is the addition of an opaque white to color. Okay. A shade is created where black or a color opposite color wheel is added to make color go darker. A tone when gray is added to a color we get tones. Okay. Simply remember this like tint is equal to white, shade is equal to dark and tone is equal to gray. Okay. Today I will be posting a bonus video also in evening so please stay tuned for that and in upcoming video we are going to be discussing about the color theory question bank itself. So those of you who have attempt on 20th of April do not miss out on this and guys please do let me know when are your exams or attempt. I will be posting likewise and the topics so please make sure to you know leave the, your attempt dates in the comment section below. And yes, I hope I have given all the information regarding the color theory and in the next video we are going to be discussing about the color uh, theory question bank. So please stay tuned for that and if you like the video, you know the drill, please like, comment, share and do not forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Till then, please take care and bye.